In this tutorial, I'm going to show you timeline infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. You can see here there's something a kind of a string. And when I click, the first option comes with the year. And at the bottom, you can see here I have added some icons and the shadow effect. And then you can add the title and more details to the year. Then next, it will show me for the 2016 then 2017 2018 2019 and 2020 so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to the gradient fill and zoom out then go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape something like this this much size shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency level select the shape and press ctrl d to duplicate and for the time being i'm just going to change the color and just put it over the top of the blue one and make sure that this is what the blue will be visible select the blue and then the orange one go to format merge shape just say subtract so you end up getting this much size and then go to insert shapes select a rectangles i'm going to cut the one which is outside the slide press ctrl d to duplicate put it the other side of the slide select the shape then the rectangle merge shape say subtract and then again select this merge shape and say subtract so you got this shape select this shape and go to effects 3d format the top we will select the first one which is the round and you can give some shadow effect maybe shadow effect which is offset bottom and you can change the color to somewhat a gray color something like this then go to insert shapes and from basic shapes you can select this particular shape called the diamond just click it here and hold the shift key and reduce the size so which will come on top of this one and shape outline you can make it a white outline and increase the weight so it looks something like this then press ctrl d to duplicate it bring exactly down and hold the shift key and increase the size and make sure that this is properly center then i'm going to join this with the line go to insert shapes select the line and from the bottom of this to top of this shape so you can see here this got connected and if you want you can give some weight and give some different color or if you want gray you can gray give gray color also and if you like you can add some shadow effect for that again go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select gradient fill and gradient fill type select the linear and i'm going to keep it only two stops so this one i'm going to give some gray color or you can give some black color also and this i'm going to give white and increase the transparency level to 100 percent and bring this here and make sure the direction is select this one which is linear right and for this also you can give some transparency effect and then send this two back so you can see here one shadow effect got created and if you like you can give a small shadow effect for this also so let me just going to i'm going to add the year go to insert 
text box i'll just say maybe this is 2017 give some nice fonts of your choice make it bold center align and put it here and then you can add your detailed text go to insert text box again reduce the size maybe if you want you can give some gray color you can just put your text here and you can add some icons to it so icon i'm going to add it later now i'm going to copy this shape three or four times here so you can hold the shift key select one by one by holding the shift key or you can just simply drag the mouse over the objects and release it so it will select all if you want you can group it for the meantime control g to group it and control d to duplicate it and i want one here control d again one more here and control d again you can put one more here so let me just arrange it properly give some equal spacing and then I'm going to ungroup all, sorry, group, ungroup all. And then I'm just going to bring some word down. Maybe this one, I'm going to make it down and make sure that this is also the line got, it's connected to this one. And this also select both of these. I'm making it more down and just make sure that the line is getting connected to each of this. Now you can see here I've added four years. So let me just change the, the year number 2019 and 2020. And then you can just change the color as per your own requirement so i'm going to select some gradient fill and gradient fill again i'm going to use only two stops so first stop i'm going to select go to more colors and you can just select some good color of your choice maybe i'm going to select this orange and type i'm going to use linear and i will select maybe this and for this i'm going to select maybe a uh, kind of this color so you can see here and then i'm going to do the same gradient for this also S just click f4 so that it copies the same i'm just going to click f4 on all the objects f4 means it's repeating so i'm just going to select this and then i'm going to change the colors one by one for example i want this color here again press f4 key again then i'm going to select this i'm going to give maybe some purple you can see here and this color i need some light pink so you can see here the same colors we can use and then you can just select this and give some different color And just you can copy paste also using the format painter you can just click it here so you can see here now I have added some very different colors and then you can add some icons go to insert click on icons for this you need to have an active internet connection and just select any four icons of your choice depending on the requirement and give I'm going to give as 0.4 height and width and just copy onto each options. So you can see here the design is ready. So it's time to add some animation to it. 
to add the animation i'm just going to select this close the format shape go to animations enable the animation pane and maybe you can give some animation which is zoom effect and then this one should come add animation go to more entrance effects stretch click ok and effect option i'll just say from bottom and this should happen with previous and if i play it comes something like this together and then the line should come for that again i'm going to give the same go to more entrance effects stretch ok and say from top and this should happen after previous and i'm going to just group this object the the diamond shape and the icon Control g to group it and this also i'm going to give the same stretch effect which you can make it either from top or you can use across also let me just make it from top and this also should happen after previous and then this one i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect from left and this should happen after previous and then the text also i'm going to give the same stretch effect from left make it after previous so if i play you can see here it comes something like this now for me to add the animation i'm just going to use the animation painter so i'm going to select this click on animation painter select this and then the ear click on the animation painter select the ear the line comes next and before that make sure that you group these objects and then i'm just going to select this click here and then the shadow i'm selecting and later on the text so it's very simple with the animation painter if i play it comes something like this and then you can do it for the remaining two years That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.